with scan power. Amazon recently announced that the send replenish inventory workflow is no longer going to be available in Seller Central after August 31st, 2022. And if you create shipments in scan power or other third party provider using the Amazon APIs, this is not a problem. Really, no changes are required. If you currently create shipments in Seller Central, I'll show you three easy ways to create shipments in scan power rather than using the new send to Amazon workflow. Uh, so let's start by logging in to beta.scanpower.com, which hosts the new box. And you'll select a batch with no PO. We cover POs in another video. But this is uh, basically a place to hold your inventory that's going to feed into shipments. So the first way to create a shipment from a batch and box is to add the item manually. And you can do that in this input uh, here in the middle, either by UPC, ASIN, MSKU, or title. So I happen to have the ASIN for this item, but I could just have easily typed in uh, you know, a piece of the title, Nike Pro Hyper and gotten the MSKUs from my inventory. So I'm going to choose the first one here. And that adds the item into the batch that we just created and shows us the details of the item, including the UPC, ASIN, MSKU condition, FN SKU, and the quantity that we've selected. So you can easily update the quantity. Uh, you can add additional information. If it's a consumable, you can add expiration date. We can add some labels or tags to the inventory item or to the batch item um, and save those changes. And after we've added all the items into the batch that we wanna put into shipments, we click Create Shipping Plan. And we get a shipment plan to SDF8, a new shipment, and click OK. One item was added to the shipment and we're now ready to pack that. So that's the first way to create shipments easily in ScanPower. The second way is to import from a CSV or an XLSX spreadsheet and you do that through the import button. And I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the CSV that includes the MSKU, the ASIN, and the quantity. Those are the only fields that have to be there. We'll assume that the condition is new if you don't give us the condition column. And then these other purchased information, such as the cost and the source and the purchase date, are optional. But as you can see, they were pulled in uh, because they were included in the CSV. And so if this file had multiple items, you could select just the ones that you wanted to import. Uh, when we import these, we'll actually be adding to the batch, since this is a different MSKU. And then we can see that this first item is already in the SDF8 shipment. So it's grayed out and it won't be considered for the next shipping plan. But again, it's just as easy as adding the items creating a shipping plan, agreeing to the destination, and this one looks like it's going into a new shipment, and clicking OK. Now the third way to create a shipment in ScanPower is if you use ScanPower Mobile either uh, on a device or on the web or our Google Sheet extension, you can create shipments from buy list items that you've saved via those apps. So you can import directly from the buy list, either by clicking import buy list and then finding the item that you wanted to, to list. Or 
you can type in again as you did previously just the ASIN, the title, um, any other information that we can use to recognize the item. So if I typed in the UPC for the heat gear uh, compression shirt, it'll just add more to the quantity that's already in here. If I delete this item and then scan it again, it'll give me the option to pull it in from the buy list or from inventory. If it's from the buy list, it maintains additional purchase information, cost, price if it was provided, and source. And so those are two different ways that you can create shipment plans from the buy list. So once the shipment is created, the items are packed, we can provide box contents either with a feed or through 2D barcodes alongside with printing the box labels. So once it's in the shipment, it's, it's very easy to uh, scan the item or manually pack it and then send the contents, purchase partner shipping, uh, and print your box labels, either uh, box labels alone or a unified box and 2D barcode label. So there's lots of workflows for packing the items and anyone who's used box will be familiar with those. But uh, for more information, you can go to our help.scanpower.com. Knowledge Base has solutions that cover um, a lot of these uh, boxed related and shipment creation flows. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to support at scanpower.com and that'll open a ticket with our help desk and we'll get back to you pretty quickly.